has been engaging with us for the mental wellness program. So, yes, I'm okay. walking the camera. Almost 4.2 million Malaysians are suffering from some form of mental health challenge, which constitutes 29.2% of adults above the age of 16 years old. This is based on the findings of the National Health and Morbidity Survey 2015 done by the Ministry of Health. That constitutes almost 3 out of 10 adults. I want that to sink in each and every one of us. 3 out of 10 adults with around 2.1 million of those affected by mental health challenges being females. The stigma, the stigma associated with mental challenges has been causing harm to those suffering from it. Often time to the extent of dehumanizing the disorder and forcing them to shy away from admitting their challenges and symptoms to those who want to help and those that can actually help in getting the right effective treatment. The stigma, the greatest stifling, stumbling block. The majority have also been misled by the stigma to believe that those who are suffering from mental health challenges are dangerous and highly likely to commit crime. Reinforce it further. Such a fallacy prevails despite the advancement of our society simply because it is not my problem. While efforts are continuously being implemented to provide sufficient care and support through the public health care system for those enduring MHCs, we concur that they are currently being underserved simply because we lack the necessary manpower to address their needs. Their needs. Needs and not even one. Their needs, not even their want as yet. With that, I urge for more public-private partnership to make the necessary assistance available for MHCs sufferers. Society too must play a role of bring, bringing peduli back into our culture and customs. To help those suffering from MHC to be able to bravely, courageously admit their challenges and seek treatment instead of feeling the need to suppress their ordeal and swallow their pain in silence. Society can start by refraining from labeling those with MACs as crazy, senteng, digasupu, and a host of other derogatory terms that pushes them further away from actually seeking help and treatment out of shame. Isolation, abandonment, even by family and friends, are not uncommon. In fact, such abandonment causes detrimental impact to society because no, one's, no one wants to help. Yet everyone is quick in being judgmental. 